Hello there, Pisces. How's it going? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly. I'll be doing the reading here for you guys. <clears throat> I hope you guys are enjoying your day. And let's get right down to it and see what's going on. Oh, Pisces. Thoracic us. Thoracic us. Well, you know, um, I like that. Thoracicus is talking about a very difficult situation, but <clears throat> the reason why I like it is because it's in reverse. When it's in reverse, it's talking about protection. So not only are you protected, Pisces, the coast is clear. You're perfectly safe to do what it is that you want to do. What else is going on with Pisces? <clears throat> Onzus. Onzus. There's that liar again. <clears throat> now, if this isn't a liar, Pisces, this is this is some sort of uh, unhappiness at your employment. Like if you're working. Uh, you could be having some problems at work. <clears throat> Thing is, though, is you're protected. So, um, yeah. This is kind of like unfounded lies or some sort of... Uh, it could just be a liar, too. You know, yesterday <clears throat> we picked up heavy... Uh, you know, there was definitely a lot of deceit in your reading. What else is going on? <clears throat> Wang Yu. Hmm. So when Wang Yu is in reverse, it can mean a few things. <clears throat> I'd like to get more runes out to clarify that. But... Uh, Wang Yu is, uh, it could be like, you know, something unexpected, something unexpected coming along. I really don't feel that that's what the case is here, though. And the reason why is because it's right next to Wang Zeus. So if this disappointment or this unhappiness here is from a lie, I think it's from a lie or a liar. You could be unhappy about a liar. Um, <clears throat> now, with with Wang Yu here in reverse, it can mean um, to not do anything at all, really, right now. Okay, uh, just uh, put off doing anything important. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, just maintain the way things are right now. You're protected, Pisces. So <clears throat> this one you in reverse is, is usually very temporary too. So it, it's not long lasting, but it might feel like it lasts. <clears throat> it's easier to say that than uh, some of you could be actually. This could be actually argu arguments. Now you know. On Zeus in reverse, it talks about deceit and lies, but, you know, this could be some sort of arguments going on <clears throat> for some of us. Now, also, Pisces, I want to remind you that, you know, we're a dual sign. You know how the fish is on the top on one and the fish is on the bottom on the other? <clears throat> so this can actually, you know, kind of like flip around, you know, um, but just, Wang Yu here is, um, is cancer energy. <clears throat> yeah, what I mean by us being a dual sign, one Pisces could be really totally happy and content while the other Pisces <clears throat> could be suffering. 
That's what I mean. So then we have uh, Solilo. Hmm. So something is coming to light. Yeah, this lie here is coming to light. Yeah, somebody somebody uh, lied about something, Pisces, uh, concerning you, for sure. And it's coming to light. And you're going to find out about it. But you're, you're, <clears throat> excuse me, Pisces, you are protected. What's going on with Pisces? Fehu, ooh, in the middle of the reading. Wow. So you're going to be protected with some, some sort of money. <clears throat> it looks like some sort of money could be coming to you, Pisces. You know, money definitely protects somebody, doesn't it? It can. It can definitely protect you. Gives you a sturdy foundation, a place to sleep, <clears throat> you know, a place to call your own. Stability, that's what I wanted to say. Stability. <clears throat> then we have Inguas here. This is Aquarius energy. Uh, <clears throat> This is dipping into somebody else's energy, but it's very positive for us. This is very positive for us. This is talking about extra money for us. Hmm. What's going on with Pisces? <clears throat> Kinaz, Kinaz in reverse. Oh, this person is is definitely <clears throat> feeling left out. That's for sure. Yeah, this liar. I'm pretty sure this liar. This liar is getting some major karma. Let me see here. Um, yeah. This liar is getting some major karma. Now, this is Gemini energy. You don't necessarily have to be dealing with the Gemini with the Gemini, but they could have Gemini in their chart. For some of you, <clears throat> uh, and for the rest, it could be any sign. And mainly, I say that because, um, you know, these runes are kind of specific. You know, some of them. Some of them mean the same thing, uh, in a sense. For example, if I flip this around like that and make it, uh, you know, in the upright. If I make it in the upright like that, then, you know, it's to totally different. That's victory, success after a hard time. <clears throat> uh, if it was TWAS, it would be almost the same thing. So, but there's only one of these. So that's why I say it can be any sign. But whoever it is, they're going through some, some karma. They're feeling left out. Yeah. What's going on with Pisces? And you know what's really weird is it's like it's, it's, it, it's next to Inguas. Inguas is like, it's like, um, I can't really explain it to you, but it's like super powerful. And this is like sort of like draining. It's like draining their energy. <clears throat> this would normally really like enhance your energy and triple it. And maybe and it's a creative energy. It's like something that just creates itself continuously. 
But when it's like in this position here, it's like doing the same thing except the opposite to them. It's like their energy is getting sucked out. <clears throat> it's going on a Pisces. Look at this. <clears throat> Fehu. Fehu again. Man, Pisces, this is, you've got some money coming. This is a lot of money coming to you for somebody, whoever I'm reading for. Uh, <clears throat> this person feels left out because they don't have any money. They're going, they're going, they, they are going broke. <clears throat> oh, Pisces. El has. El has. Huh? So, Pisces, man, we are really, <clears throat> we are really, really protected. Okay? This is, this is protection as well. All right? Both of these runes are talking about protection. The, the one thing, the difference between uh, this is that <clears throat> Thoracicus is talking about after going through a very tough, difficult situation and breaking through it. And Elhaz is just, you know, nobody wants to mess with you because... I mean, you're protected. These are these are horns. Anybody comes charging you, you know, they're going to get stuck. This is a thorn. This kind of reminds me of bob wire that they put around buildings, you know, to keep people out. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're protected, Pisces. And we have some sort of money coming. And, you know, when I see Fehu here twice... Um, it has something to do with this other person, this liar, that probably lied about something to do with money. <clears throat> it's really kind of interesting read. Let's get uh, let's get some tarot cards out here. How's the weather, you guys? Is it nice where you're at? I'm noticing it's getting kind of, you know, it just summer here where I live, it uh, <clears throat> it doesn't really start until until August. Yeah, it's kind of cold the rest of the year, pretty much, sort of, but not really cold. But but it seems pretty warm so far. <laughs> Still in the fifties. What's going on with Pisces? <clears throat> yeah, the Ten of Coins. Well, you know, Pisces, the Ten of Coins is a really good is a good is a good card. You know, it's talking about money. <laughs> Look at I see money. It's also talking about family. You know, like a mixed family. Uh huh. <clears throat> So, you know, this could be somebody in your family. Yeah. See the group of family there? See see the group of people there? Yeah. So this probably most likely has something to do with your family. Okay? <clears throat> so what's going on with Pisces? Mm, the four of coins, <clears throat> the four of coins. Well, now this particular four of coins is a little, it's the same, <clears throat> I guess. It's kind of like the same. But this particular uh, four of coins is mainly talking about being selfish. Yeah. Somebody here has been <clears throat> most likely somebody in your family. Really selfish, a liar. 
but whatever, something is being seen. Now you're going to be able to see something. Okay, there's the sun. The sun light, lightens up everything. <clears throat> now I'm not really too sure about this four cups, but it's talking about, you know, this particular one is mainly talking about somebody being very selfish. Yeah, so let's <clears throat> let's see what's going on with this selfishness. Because I, I gotta I gotta clarify that. You just make sure it's not us. <laughs> I don't think it's us. What's going on with Pisces? <clears> hmm, <throat> got the seven of swords. Yeah, this is a liar. See, look at that. The liar, there's the liar. Yeah, seven of swords, the liar. Yeah, this is probably some liar and somebody that lied. Yeah, they're getting their karma though because they're being, you know, whatever it is here, whatever they did, Pisces, it's definitely very, very bright. I mean, I, th I feel that everybody can see this. <clears throat> I do. Look at this, the bottom of the deck, you got the four of, uh, the four of wands. So keep doing what you're doing, Pisces. Keep going with the flow. Look at that. The 10 of pentacles again. You got some money coming to you, Pisces, for sure. I don't know um, the full in depth of this, but let's let's pull um, hmm. <clears throat> let's pull some uh, let's pull some kipper cards. Where's my kipper cards? There they are. <laughs> I think I go overboard on the kipper cards. I'm only going to pull a couple of them this time. Last time I think I pulled out. Oh, I don't know. I pulled out a lot. <laughs> What's going on with Pisces? <clears throat> 18. The child. The child. Well, some of you may have children around you, you know. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely, you know, like I said, this is, you know, it's part of your family is here, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> but the child is a good card, I feel. Yeah, it could be around children. What else is going on with Pisces? Wow, great fortune. <clears throat> great fortune, Pisces. Yeah. So, all I can say is, you know, you've got some money coming here. You got, on, you got Fehu twice. Right, whoever is somebody here, somebody here is really uh, kind of like uh, feeling really bad. Yeah, uh, the reason why is because they're 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 very very greedy. Yeah, whoever this person is, they're very very greedy um, and materialistic, um, and they're liars. Yeah. And, you know, there it is right there. And I know that's not us. And if it is, then <laughs> we're in some big trouble. <laughs> and I know that ain't us. So let's pull, um, <clears throat> let's pull one of these, uh, one of these, uh, moonologies. I love these cards. I think I've used these from day one, so I really like them. Whoops, what's going on with Pisces? Communication is key, new moon in Gemini. Communication is key. What else? What else is going on with Pisces? Surrender to the divine. All right, Pisces, that's very important. Just go with the flow and surrender to the divine because I feel that the universe has your back here and, <clears throat> you know, the divine is going to take care of everything. All right? Don't do anything, you know, drastic. 
Yeah, don't do anything. Um, like, don't sign anything right away. Don't don't do anything hasty yet. All right. Just keep your cool and and uh, take your time because you are protected. All right, Pisces. All right, you guys. So let's get in here into the birthday runes and get a little deeper. <clears throat> All right. So now, Pisces, we have um, we have three different birthday runes for us. We have uh, Soilo for Pisces, born <clears throat> uh, February 19th to February 27th. And then we have Tiwaz, and that is for Pisces, born February 28th to March 14th. And then the next card we have is <clears throat> Barkana. And that is for Pisces, born March 15th to March 20th. So if you're born during any of those dates, that's your. those are your runes. Now, if you're born on the cusp of any of these, like say if you're born on the 27th or the 28th, then both of those will be yours. Same over here, the 14th or the 15th, both of these will be yours. All right? All right, so let's get into it. This is going to be for Soilo. Pisces born March, I mean February, <laughs> February 19th to February 27th. Wang Yu, wow, I like that. Wang Yu is happiness and joy. So. You're going to be very happy, Pisces, especially when I see this Fehu here, you know. You're going to be very happy. Uh, so, you know, so basically what Wang Yu here is, is saying is to just not do anything drastic. All right, don't do anything. Don't do anything drastic. And it can also indicate stress. So, you know, a lot of us could be under stress. But <clears throat> with Wang Yu here, this is happiness. I like that. <laughs> what else? You know, we've been getting the great fortune and the unexpected uh, income for the past, you know, week, two weeks almost. So I, I kind of feel like something's going on with that. <clears throat> Coal. Coal. Now, I think we pulled that yesterday, didn't we? Huh? I, th I thought so. Let's see what Cole's talking about. <clears throat> hmm. Cole. There it is. This is the hazel tree, Pisces. And the meaning of this is enlightenment. So you're going to find something out. See? You're going to be enlightened. <laughs> For sure. <clears throat> Knowledge, creative inspiration, dreaming, rituals, competence, and practicality. This is an awarm, <clears throat> and that's the name of these runes. It's called the awarm. Is one of the best ones. This is like one of the luckiest uh, awarm runes they have. <clears throat> and it's basically talking about using your intuition. And not just uh, <clears throat> using your intuition, but it's kind of like built in. It's just using your intuition that is already built into your system. I mean, it's 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 gaining momentum. If you, I feel like um, this could be like a spiritual, you know, this could be also spiritually uplifting, like you know, vibrationally uh, raising, becoming more spiritually aware. Yeah, awesome card. I like it. <clears throat> Let me see, what what else are we gonna get here? We're gonna get on these shadow cards. Oh, Pisces one, February 19th to February 27th. No boundaries, difficult to establish, healthy respect, take care and ensure your needs are met, all right? So take care of yourself first, all right? 
Don't worry about other people. Take care of yourself first. All right? Main thing. <clears throat> and, you know, we're so giving and, we, you know, I know how it is. I know how it is. But, you know, I, you know, I kind of feel that this could be also talking about this liar, too, that uh, that lied to you or lied about you or lied something, some, some sort of lie that involved you, you know, <clears throat> and it's very difficult for you to, uh, to establish any healthy respect with, with, uh, you know, someone like that. So take care of yourself first and, you know, it is, you know, they're going to have to deal with their own situation. I, I kind of feel that you've just kind of pulled yourself out of that and it's just like, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's their deal, you know. What's going on with Pisces? <clears throat> Born February 19th to February 27th. Forge a new path. When you make new choices, you create new results. Let go of old patterns and embrace the power of possibility. You are fully supported. Wow. Really good card. I like that one. <laughs> For sure. Let's get one of these rich runes, witch runes here. <clears throat> What's going on with Pisces on February, 20, oh, February 19th to February 27th? Ah, okay. Well, that's a good one. Harvest. Harvest is um, is talking about, uh, you know, kind of reaping what you've sown, kind of like. It's kind of like um, achievement, you know. Maybe you're going to have some sort of achievement. And this is also talking about blessings. So, yeah. you're harvesting what you've, what you've sown. I mean, and if that's good... You know, it's it's good. If it's bad, then it's bad. But like I said, Pisces is a dual sign. But for the most part, this is really awesome. It's a very awesome read. Now, what else do I want? I guess that's it. <laughs> well, no. No, I can't let that be it. I got to get a Halloween card. You know, I forgot that last night. I thought, you know, I, I'm missing something here. So what's going on with Pisces born? What's going on with Pisces born? February 19th to February 27th. I got my doggy out there barking. I got really noisy neighbors. I mean, they're not really noisy, but they're noisy when they walk down the hall. <clears throat> Mummy, change. So change is on the way, Pisces. Uh, mummy. Let's read what it says. <clears throat> let's, let's read what it means. All right, mummy. Here it is. Should you pull the morning mummy? I guess that's called the morning mummy, huh? <laughs> From the deck. Know that change is in inevitable, and though no matter how hard you try, things will not be perceived exactly the same way. This card indicates. <clears throat> let me see. This card also indicates that this change will be for the better. The endings, the closed doors, the barriers. This is just a healthy pause. In, in induction that a change of tactics is needed. You are not cursed. You have just developed a pattern. You can take control and change it. Wow. Interesting. That's an interesting card. Deep. <clears throat> well, there you have it, you guys. I'm going to get here into t -Waz now. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's get right here into T Waz. Alright. So now T Waz Pisces is um T 
key ones is for Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. Going on with Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. Hmm. Well, we have um, Iwas. Iwas is good. Iwas is talking about um, support. Um, yeah. <clears throat> you could be getting some sort of support or uh, some sort of uh, assistance. Yeah, that's what uh, the main meaning of that is. Now, it can also mean um, other things too, but I, I want to... Before I determine that, I want to pull one of these other runes out so we can see it. <clears throat> but that is Menez. Yeah. And like I said, um, you see how it's crossed up here, how the bands are crossed? It's kind of like hugging you. Uh, it's like, you know, assistance, like, you know, it can be any kind of assistance. It could be, um, yeah, just some sort of assistance. Let's see what else. At least that's what I'm feeling. Let's see what cards, let's see what, what a warm rune I get. What's going on with Pisces from February 28th to March 14th. Nguyen, hmm, let's see what Nguyen has to say. Uh, this is the ash tree. Okay, so the meaning of this is transitions. Yeah, so somebody's going to help support you going through this transition, all right? That could be a child. I, we pulled the child card. You could be having a child. A child could be helping you. You know, it could be a grown child for sure. Um, it's also talking about uh, growth, support, and friendships and destiny. So that's really good. It says here, struggles and challenges are a part of natural part of life. And it's essential to accept that these are obligatory for improvement and growth. New and symbols a get together of friends, families, and communities for a specific purpose. Ash tree represents destiny, but doesn't mean you're bound by a certain route. Rather, it shows you a unique path that is especially for you. Boundaries are not a disadvantage as they may help you become aware of connecting points and find creative solutions. Create the life that you desire with the most enthusiasm and confidence. All right. So this is what's going on. You're you're you're, go, you're going through a, a transformation, transition. Somebody's going to probably help you go through that, right? And things are changing for the much better. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm still liking it. Let's get a shadow card and see what else is going on. What's going on with Pisces? Born February 28th to March 16th. Resistance, uh huh. You know, um, change is coming. You can't resist it, Pisces. You can try, but it's not going to work, and it's going to just not. It's not going to work very well. Resistance, holding on to old beliefs and refusing to adapt can hinder personal growth. So. <clears throat> yeah, don't resist it. Just go with the flow, all right? Don't resist it. Because, yeah, you know, resisting it will kind of make it worse. What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? Whoops. Ooh. Sorry about that, Pisces. I'm dumping cards everywhere. <laughs> yeah, like uh, you guys, you know, the Pisces uh, before you, they got a card that said uh, change is inevitable. So there's no change. I mean, that was for them, but 
uh, you know, I feel that there, it, it's for everybody. And I feel that, you know, there's no sense in for you having to resist anything that's changing. Just go with the flow. And simplify life. Yeah, this is a really good one here. And this is probably going to help here, too, because it says um, <clears throat> simplify life. Life is meant to be simple and easy. Don't let superficial energies distract you from your true essence. Simplicity, purity will lift your spirit. All right? I like that. <laughs> so just be simple. And I, I kind of, I, I can I can relate with that because sometimes I I tend to get a little bit over. Uh, and, you, and when you get a little bit too over into it, it just complicates things. It's, it's so much easier when you just keep it simple. And when you get better results, always. What's going on with Pisces? February 28th to March 14th. Now yeah, ring social social circle. So that's what that's talking about. Saying going out there and socialize. This is uh, you know, the socialize social circle. You know, um, maybe you know doing things online. Even it can be you know um, social intimacy. Something online as well could be. Uh, but it's really it's very very positive, and it's just. Uh, Saying to get out there and connect, connect with people. Yeah. All right, Pisces. Uh, uh, almost forgot. Got to get a Halloween card. What's going on with Pisces? Born February 28th to March 14th. I almost forgot the Halloween card. I forgot the Halloween card yesterday. Winter, well, man, we've got that card a lot. This card here is just talking about letting things die. You know, just let things die. Let it fall off. Things that don't serve you. Things do that, that do not serve you, Pisces. Um, just let it die, all right? Because you got, you got some brand new things coming. And you got, you've got some money coming for sure. I think that's going to be a big part of this new beginning. All right, Pisces. All right, you guys. I'm going to get here into Barcana now. And so this is for Pisces that are born March 15th to March 20th. So what's going on with Pisces born March 15th to March 20th? Hmm. Canaz. Are you feeling in the cold or feeling left out? Because that's what Canaz is talking about. Um, uh, yeah, that could indicate uh, feeling left out or or out in the cold or something. Huh. We'll, we'll see what else is going on here with Pisces. You know, I, 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 I'm kind of like looking at Wong Yu over here. This could be more referring to to you guys in the sense of uh, unhappiness. What's going on with Pisces? Pisces born March 15th to March 20th. Be bad. Well, Ebad isn't isn't a, isn't a bad card. Let's see what Ebad has to say. <clears throat> Ebad. That's one of the new ones. That's one of the newer ones. Let me see here. Well, this is really positive, Pisces, and it's talking. This is a trembling Aspen, and it's talking about spiritual wisdom and strength. It's also talking about intelligence to overcome small daily problems. So whatever this is, it's just probably something uh, uh, very small, you know, that, you know, that you're going to overcome. 
It says here, reaching the enlightenment phase of a spiritual uh, of spiritual contentment and the ability to be in harmony with those around you. Ebad is a symbol of inner peace and harmony with the world outside. Ebad represents our ability to deal with and overcome difficulties. Trembling aspen is a strong tree that bends in the wind when the wind blows, but doesn't break. Ebad also reminds us the importance of living in harmony with the world around us. Wow. So, this is just something uh, I might put my finger on that. But this is something, uh, I don't think it's anything really uh, too bad, really. I think you're going to, whatever this is here, whatever this, whatever this is, you're going to overcome it. Let's get some more, let's get some cards. With Ebad there, I know it's going to be overcome, so. What's going on with Pisces? Pisces born February night February fifteenth twentieth uh, escapism take a break if you want Pisces take a break it's just sitting here detached from daily uh, struggles and relax but don't use it as a form of you know avoidance so you know take some take a break take a break if you can and I know not everybody can but if you can take a break. Um, yeah, hmm. Let's get one of these here. <clears throat> oh, Pisces. Yeah, this here, I'm, I, I, this here, Pisces, I, I, I've been thinking about it. This is something that you didn't know about. This is something that you don't know about. Um, that you're going to be just like, what? Pursue happiness, Pisces. And it says here, never apologize for what brings you joy. Only you understand where you truly belong and where you can find your safe space. So follow your bliss, all right? Find your safe space and follow your bliss. And if you can take it, if you can take a time out, you know, I would do that. Yeah, I would do that. You know, and then you can kind of think on whatever this is. You're going to come to some sort of enlightening, uh, you're going to be able to figure out whatever the problem is and overcome it, even though this is something that you um, probably uh, maybe should have known, but didn't, or weren't told, or or something. Yeah. Hmm. Let's get one of these Halloween cards here. What else is going on? What's going on with Pisces? Born March 15th to March 20th. What's it say here? Graveyard. Hmm. Uncertainty and fear. You know, there's no reason to be uncertain or fear about anything. Let's see what it talks about. Ah, oh, graveyard. Yeah, it's a really good read, Pisces. Don't be uncertain. You've got some financial, you got some money coming. Let me see here. Pull this card and know that fear, that you fear un, un, unnecessarily. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So don't, there's no reason to fear about anything. It says right here, when you pull this, you're, you're fearing something that is totally unnecessary. Um, yeah. 
the anxieties you have, although real, should be put aside. All right, so put those put those fears aside. Um, instead, trust that you know the correct next steps, and act that you will and act like you're going to act upon them, and it's going to work out. Yeah, there's no reason to be um, uptight or worried about something here. All right. Yeah, you're uptight and worried about something, but like this card here said, this um, EBAD, you're going to overcome it, all right? Yeah. Let me see here. Let's get one of these. Um, which ones? Oh, here they are. <laughs> Let's go to Pisces born March 15th to March. Ah, so this is talking about great passion or romance. It could be, it could be both. Uh, you know, for some of you, it could be romance. For some of you, it could be like a great passion, like something that you do that is pat that you're passionate about. Yeah. So do what you are passionate about, Pisces. And if you need to take a break, um, you know, do it. You know, take a break if you need to. Um, there's no harm in that. Just don't make a habit of it. That's what the card says. Um, and whatever this uh, um, stress about something here that you can't see, um, that you're not, not too sure about, you're, you're going to figure it out. It'll be all good. All right? This reading looks way too too good. You need What you need to do is, is is not dwell on anything really negative and just con continuously try to push forward positively, especially you guys. All right, all right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you haven't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. See you again tomorrow. Bye for now.